coming up in this week's episode of our Life with Wild. So today on the homestead, we are turning our pork fat into rendered lard. to be doing this this is my first time ever doing this but uh, from what I've seen on YouTube uh, it looks super simple main reason why we're doing it is because we do have a number of people buying pigs off us this fall so just want to have a little tutorial for you on just kind of how to do this because you're gonna end up with six to seven upwards of ten bags of pork fat as well and uh, why not make some use for it other than just throwing it out or feeding the bears or whatever you want to do with it so uh, yeah I'm gonna get after it I'm gonna start cutting it up uh, using a 30 quart turkey frying kit that I got from Cabela's and uh, gonna fill it about halfway and then I'll start rendering it just to kind of get it hot and coat the bottom of the pan but yeah I'm just gonna work away at getting this all broken down cleaning the nastiness out of it and uh, just making sure all the the pure white fat is going into it as best as we can and uh, at the end have a little treat for the dogs so mm. let's get cutting okay so this stuff still is a little bit frozen so I might have to end up cutting it out of the bag here which is fine I just sharpen the knife so she cuts it like butter You grab me uh, maybe that metal bowl for any scraps that the dogs will have. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get some of this pulled apart just to see what I'm dealing with here. Unfrozen, frozen then you want to put it in the fridge for an hour or so just so that you're not dealing with with it while it's super uh, squishy I guess we'll call it. Thank you. It's gonna make a great very healthy product that we can substitute out any of the seed oils that we use. You, know, you can fry your fish in it. Um, you can fry grouse in it, all that stuff. So, one inch to two inch chunks. Okay, so I have cut up about a bag and a half. I got six bags here. I got about a quarter of this 30 quart um, pot filled here. So, I'm going to get this started while I'm trimming the rest of this just so that it can start rendering down, get that coating of oil on the bottom. You want to cook it really low, start at a really low heat, allow it to break down slowly. You don't want to cook this too fast because if you do you could burn it. I'm just using uh, propane heat outside because I don't want the house to reek like pork. We live in a small house and uh, just allow that to render just outside the door here. So once it starts bubbling and stuff, and I hear a little bit of noise, I'll take the camera and show you guys that. This is the stuff that we're going to want to be getting rid of. Uh, this is what was closest to the hide, and it's just good to get rid of that. So all I'm doing is I'm setting it down on my cutting board here, the side up that I want to get rid of, and I'm basically just filling it like a fish. Just taking off, trying to just skin off that layer of nastiness, Try to get rid of it here real quick. And I'll just show you guys what it looks like finished. Okay, so as you can see here, both sides, nice white chunk of fat. Let's throw all this other crap in the dog bin. Get her all cubed up. Put her in the good pile. Is this me? 
No, it's not meat, it's pork fat. It does it's pretty white meat, eh? <clears throat> no, it's just pork fat. We're rendering it down into lard so that we can cook and make yummy things with it. Yeah. You know, TV, uh, on YouTube? Yeah. Ask Daddy what he's doing. I want to be on YouTube all the time. I'll show you. Oh boy. Ask Daddy what he's doing. You're cutting meat. Okay, so that is the last of it. it. Took me a couple hours to get everything broke down. So now we throw this in and we let the whole thing render for basically until it stops crackling. We're not gonna change the heat at all. We're just gonna let it cook until there's no bubbles left. Basically stir it and watch it for the next couple hours. I turn the temperature down a little bit. I, it's Unfortunately this unit I got here, you don't really know how much it's putting out but unless you're looking at the Actual flame. The dogs eat a little snack. I'm sure there's an allotment. George, go! Snacks! Snacks! Go! Come on! Go! Look! Next. Your people have skip training. Sounds like it's a hair. Get my snack. Bye. You dumb old man. Come here. What's this? What's this, Bubba? Come here. Didn't, you didn't even chew that. <laughs> so this is basically what you're looking for. You want to have no bubbles really left coming up. There's the odd one here or there. The only thing I would do differently next time is I would cut up more of my fat before I actually started cooking it. I wouldn't put it all in the pot, but I would uh, just have extra bowls of it cut up and ready to go in because the time between I, when I started and when I finished was a lot uh, further apart than I had anticipated. And as you can see, some of these could go in here longer, like these, but there's a lot of dark ones in here and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So we're gonna turn the heat off here and strain it and put it in jars. Okay, so we just got the pot of rendered fat inside. It took about five, five and a half hours to completely stop bubbling. If I would have put everything in the pot together at a sh in a shorter time period, I probably could have went a little bit less time, but this is how it worked out this time. I'll make a mental note for next time. Now we're gonna get as much of these uh, pork fat chunkies out of there. There's a term for it. I can't remember the name just because I learned it yesterday. But uh, we're gonna get as many of those out as we can. And then we're gonna start putting it in jars as we as we filter it with the filter. I know this has a more technical term, but I can't think of that either. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, now we're gonna start the process of funneling. Pulling the jars out. We heated the jars up to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't wanna have any water 
in it when you put the fat in because it it can contaminate it in a way. Just make sure you give the inside of your jars a little dry if you do decide to do it that way. And then you'll have you should have less of an issue. That's hard. Oh yeah, oh, you hear it yeah. sizzling? Like piping hot bacon grease. Daddy burned his foot really bad when he was a kid. I would, would have been 10 or 11. I was cooking breakfast for myself and my dad before he woke up. I was talking on the phone with a friend and lost track of my bacon. Burnt the crap out of it. And ended up dumping it on my foot. On the door that are right by your room, okay? The safest way to do this would probably be to be with shoes on and some good jeans. Not flip flops and shorts. But it's too bloody hot. It's too bloody hot for this cat. Thank you. This seal is pretty rough shape. Use the glove hand, people. Use the glove hand. Uh, Who got you that glove? Uh, Did you get it yourself? I bought it. Yeah, I bought it at Cabela's. Yeah. And, you know, I ordered it on Amazon. I got you something. What did you get me? Your favorite. My favorite. Your favorite picture. What is it? <laughs> My favorite picture of us ice fishing. In the ice pit. I love it. Fishing yeah. Jack. That, that's fishing what Jack. like fishing rods on on my letters with my names and fish on my name, fishing rods and fish on my name and then the sea fish. Do you love fishing? Mm. Me too. Did you know when you were a little guy I used to worry about you liking the things that I liked? <laughs> I don't worry about that anymore. <laughs> you wanna go more than I do most of the time. <laughs> oh. Careful, stand back, this is hot, okay? I would hate to burn ya. Now that Derek has walked you through how to obtain lard by rendering down your pork fat, I would like to just run some numbers to just give you a little food for thought on why this is not only a great decision for you to make for your health, but a great decision for you to make maybe for your pocketbook. We are gonna be comparing this product to Crisco Vegetable Shortening. Crisco sells for $4.47, and there's 454 grams within a container. That makes it less than one cent per gram. There's 800 grams of lard in here. Means this jar is worth $7.87 if it was Crisco vegetable shortening. And we have eight of these, $63. This is a far superior product. The value is probably more than double. It's good for you. Man, I have a good man. Thanks for watching.